there are more women of color creators getting their stuff out there. Hey guys, I'm Cher Martinetti from Sci-Fi Fangirls, and this morning joining us from San Diego Comic-Con is Sarah Kuhn, the author of Heroin Worship and Heroin Complex, and now working on a clueless comic book. Yes. So first, let's talk about heroin worship. Okay. Tell us a little bit about where our heroin is right now. <laughs> Okay. Um, well, so Heroin Complex, which was the first book, was about uh, Evie Tanaka, who is the personal assistant to San Francisco's most fabulous superheroine, Aveda Jupiter, whose real name is Annie Chang. So the second book, Heroin Worship, is from Aveda's point of view, which is interesting because in the first book, she was a little bit of an antagonist. She was a little bit of a, a sort of out of control diva boss to Evie. So it was a lot of fun to spend time in her head and figure out um, sort of what her vulnerabilities were. How many uh, books do you see going into the series with this story for these two? Well, there's definitely going to be three. Mm -hmm. um, the third one is actually about uh, Evie's younger sister, B. So it's like three different Asian American girl protagonists sort of over the course of three books. And then we'll kind of see. We'll see if there's more of the story to tell, if there's more that we need to explore. But for now, I know there will definitely be three. So speaking of Asian female protagonists, which is the most underserved demographic, <laughs> period, in media, but how do you see that tide like starting to change at all? Do you notice that? There's starting to be more opportunities? like For sure. I mean, I think that um, we're at kind of a crucial point in, I guess, pop culture history, media yeah. history, where I think things are starting to change. And I think the reason for that um, is there are more women of color creators getting their stuff out there. Um, there are more ways to get your voice heard. And I think the fans feel more empowered to speak up and like they have more channels to speak up yeah. um, to sort of let it be known that they do want to see heroes who look like them. So you and I both love the 90s. Yes, <laughs> of course. Um, and obviously you're writing the comic book <laughs> for Clueless. Um, so Tell me, like, for 90s mm -hmm. female protagonists and heroines, like, who was really like, a standout person do you think, like, identified that decade? Um, obviously Cher Horowitz. I love Cher because she is so unrelentingly positive, um, which is something that I'm really not. I'm gonna give you three really super fast questions. Okay. You need one word answer. Okay. <laughs> okay. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? Um, flight. What's one song that you think of right now at the top of your head <laughs> that would, like, encapsulate you the theme song. <laughs> oh God. You know what? Maybe it's a silly answer. Maybe it's the um the X-Men theme song from the nineties cartoon. Because okay. I, I remember like there was a moment in my life where I wanted like I wanted basically my getting ready in the morning like montage to be set to that song like every day. And if you could have any <laughs> actress play one of your characters in a live action film or TV show. <laughs> Who would you, our ideal character? Oh my god. I am a super big fan of uh, Keiko Agena who was uh, Lane Kim on Gilmore Girls. And uh, she actually uh, participated in a reading I did of some like excerpts from Heroin mm -hmm. Worship. And I just think she's so talented, she can do anything. Um, she has amazing improv and comedy skills. And yeah, she's like a superhero actress. Thank you for joining me Thank this morning, you. being my very first Comic-Con interview yes. ever. I'm going to like remember this moment for the rest of my life. So thank you for joining us. Thank you.